Hello, this video is for my third graders. This is for unit four, lesson one. We're beginning with our math book. So uh, either your family has printed out these pages from the PDF or you have the pages that are in color because they're ripped out of a book. Either way, that's fine. Um, it starts off with uh, this letter. So this letter just explains to your parents that we're doing place value drawings. These are hundreds, these are sticks of 10, these are dots of one. We're also using um, these cards to show our place value and you can stack them, um, but it helps us understand how it would look in expanded form if you were to unstack them. And then we're also going to do some stuff with uh, rounding later in this unit. And then I'm gonna rip this off. Um, we're talking about different methods for addition, using drawings for addition, using um, the classic model uh, variation of that where you put your new tens below so you don't forget about them, and then having a, a, a different version where you have um, the new tens underneath, um, and then you add them. Uh, and then some different models for subtraction as well. Please give this letter to your parents so they are familiar with what we're doing. This is different than probably some of the things they learned as kids, and that's okay. But even if your parent is helping you um, with like an older strategy from what they learned in school, you're still gonna get the same answer and it doesn't hurt to learn a new strategy. So please, if they're helping you, make sure you're being polite with your parents. Here's the letter in Spanish. If your parents read in Spanish, you can give them this letter. It's the same thing. All right, so I'm going to rip these off now. Okay. One nice thing about internet school is even though we're going to put our name on our paper, you don't really need to worry about losing it because uh, you're at your house. So, um, like we talked about before, we're uh, talking about place value. And that is, that has to do with like in which spot a digit is and how much it's worth. The value is based on um, which place it is in. Okay, so just to remind you, if our decimal point is here, we have our ones, then our tens, then our hundreds. And there are certainly more. The next one is thousands, and then ten thousands, and then hundred thousands, and then millions. And there are less, too. There are smaller place values, but the, the thing that divides them is this decimal point, which you probably recognize from money. Okay, so um, on your paper, each of these little dots is one, and so this picture is helping us understand where these um, pick uh, this image is helping us understand where these like sticks came from. You can see each of these circled dots counts as one. Let's go ahead and count those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven ones. And then you can see that there would be three more dots to get to this length. So that's showing us that this is 10, right? So we're going to count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have eight tens and seven ones. The number for eight tens and seven ones, eight tens is 80, and seven ones is just seven. 80 plus 7 is 87. And I think I'd, I should have mentioned this earlier. In these videos that I'm doing, um, I'd like you to stay with me in the beginning just to make sure that you're understanding what I'm describing. And then if you're feeling like, I think I know what to do next, what I'd like you to do is pause the video, try the next problem. So say if, we, if we're about to do this one, you can pause. You can try this, then hit play, and then if you're right, you know you're doing well. If you're not feeling comfortable, though, you're welcome to stay with me the whole time. 
I'm hoping that by the end of the video, you'll understand the concept of how to represent numbers with the pictures and how to represent numbers with, um, let's start out in words as like numbers, num in like number form. Um, and then after this video, you'll be working on an activity in Think Central, and that's going to give me information on how well you understood this lesson. So if you're like, ooh, I totally got this, you can go ahead and give that a shot. Um, and then if you get it all right, I'll be like, wow, this kid totally got it. If you're having a hard time with any of these lessons, I'll be able to see that in Think Central. So I'm gonna go kind of slow, but there also is a way to speed up the video in Canvas and um, try to show you that as well. Okay, so right here we have how many ones? One, two, three, four, four ones. Right here we have two ten sticks that are not in this box. So we'll say two tens. And then right here, if I count these tens that are inside this box, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I see I have ten tens, which we know equals one hundred. So it would be appropriate to say either we have 12 tens and four ones. It would also be acceptable to say we have 100 two tens and four ones. Both of those are the same. It's like potato, potato, okay? So either way, if we have 100 plus two tens is 20 plus four, that gives us the number of 124. Okay, hopefully you're feeling good. Next one, the number for each, write the number for each place value drawing. So here, this is just the same thing, but it's simplified a little bit. It would be a lot of work to have to draw 10 sticks inside each of these boxes. So from this point on, we're just gonna have a box and you're gonna be like, boom, 10 tens, that's 100, no problem, okay? So here we have 200. And then here you can see they've grouped their 10 sticks and their dots of one in fives. That makes it a lot easier for us to count. If you have just a string of a bunch of dots or sticks, even someone like me who is an adult can have a hard time uh, keeping track while I'm counting. So here we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so seven tens, 70, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus seven. So the number for that. 200 plus 70 plus 7. I put it in vertical form there. 0 1s plus 0 1 is 7. 0 10s plus 7 10s plus nothing is 7 10s. And then 200s plus nothing is 200. So 277. All right, here we go on the next one. Again, each of these boxes that represent 100 each, and we have three of them, so that is 300. Count my 10 sticks, one, two, three, four, five, plus one more, six, six tens is 60. And then I have just one dot, one, I'm gonna put that in vertical form, so 300 plus 60 plus one. And you can see I'm lining things up by place value. That's one of the big reasons that we're studying this, so you can add things up correctly. So no ones plus no ones plus one one is one. No tens plus six tens plus nothing is six tens. And then uh, three hundreds plus nothing plus nothing is three hundred. So our answer here is three hundred and sixty one. Okay. If you're feeling ready, you can go ahead and try this one and hit pause and try it and then hit play and see if we got the same answer. So two, three, four, five, six, hundred plus. 20 for my two tens plus three. 
623. Hopefully you got that. Go ahead and try this one. And then hit play when you're ready. 400 plus 40 or four tens plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine ones. So 400 plus 40 plus nine, nine, four, four, 449. Okay, hopefully you're feeling pretty good about this. All right, the next thing I'm going to have you do is we're going to make a place value drawing, which is one of these for these numbers listed here. So here we have to ask ourselves, okay, how many ones, six ones, how many tens, eight tens? Do we have any hundreds on this one? No, we don't. So no hundred boxes, okay? Let's start with our ten sticks. One, two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to put that little space so it's easy to count. Six, seven, eight. And I'm going to do my circles of one. And I'm going to do a row of five and then one more underneath. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's how you draw a place value drawing for that number. All right, go ahead and see if you can do number eight and then hit play when you're ready. So I have five hundreds, eight tens, and seven ones. So let's draw one, two, three. Four, five, five hundreds, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight tens, and seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn this page. So I'm going to rip it off my little packet there. Okay, now you might be thinking, whoa, what's that big long rectangle? This is representing ten hundreds. What do we call ten hundreds? It's called one thousand. So uh, it's just the same idea, except now instead of drawing ten squares, we just do one long rectangle to save ourselves some time. So here we have 1,000 plus 200 plus 1, 2, 3, 3 tenths, 30, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 ones. I'm going to go ahead and put that in vertical form so it's lined up and really easy to add. I have one thousand two hundred thirty and eight. Okay, so lining up my ones, the only thing in there is the eight. So eight ones, three tens, two hundreds, put my comma there to keep my place, and one thousand. Put a little bubble around this so it's not confusing. So the answer for this one is 1,238. All right, go ahead and try this next one. It's a little tricky because it's missing the hundreds. There's no hundreds. So we have 1,000, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine tens, which is ninety, and then one, two, three ones. Okay, so then add those up, lining up our place value. One thousand. There's nothing that it begins with a hundred, so we just go to ninety, and then three. nine zero one this is the big reason why place value is so important if you just like didn't have that zero there it would look almost like 193 which is a lot different than 1093 right i'll write that down 
Okay. Now let's go ahead and make a place value drawing for each of these numbers here. We have our 2,000. How many hundreds? Three. One, two, three. How many tens? Six tens. One, two, three, four, five. Space, six. And then I'll put my ones down. I'll put them here because there's room. And then eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Go ahead and give this one a shot. And then hit play when you're ready. We got our 5,000. One, two, three, four, five. Then we have zero hundred, so no boxes go on this one. One ten, boom, and then seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now, this next section is just to help us get familiar with converting word form numbers or number names into the actual numbers. So, this number right here, 82, how do you write it? 8 in the tens place, 2 in the ones place, 82. Next one, 99, 9 in the tens place, 9 in the ones place. If you're feeling like you know how to do this, go ahead and try the rest of them and then correct along with me. So then we have 467, 400, six tens, seven ones. Next one, 906, so 900, zero tens, six ones. 1,015, 1,000, zero hundreds, one ten. Five ones. Eight thousand one hundred twenty. Eight thousands. One hundred. Two tens. Zero ones. Okay. Now, hopefully this is making sense. I'm going to see how you're doing in that Think Central activity. All right. See you next time. Bye, guys.